Alright, in this video I'm going to uh, show you how to quickly create an NPC guard. You can use to uh, guard your area or guard yourself and set them on patrol paths or uh, have them follow you around. Now let's go outside and create them out here. Okay, so the first part of creating an NPC is running the NPC create command. So you run NPC create and then uh, the guard's name. So we'll just call this one, and yeah, let's do generic sentry for now. So that creates a static NPC who really can't do much right now. Uh, the next command, this one's optional, but I generally run it anyway, is NPC look close. This will make the NPC look at you when you move around. All right, third thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, equip them. And this is just uh, for aesthetics, uh, adding equipment to an NPC other than the weapon actually has no effect on how they act. Uh, for information on the different weapon types and what they do, you can see the forum post, so I'm not going to get into it in this video. But the NPC Equipment Editor is NPC Equip. So this loads the Equipment Editor and then you just right click to give them the different equipment you want them to have. And uh, you can always left click. Apparently we can't do it here. Oh there we go. Sorry, you right click with nothing else in your hand and that'll uh, pull all the equipment off if you make a mistake. Or you want to get something back. When you're done equipping your NPC, just type NPC Equip again and that exits the equipment editor. If you want, you can bring up the text editor where you can add lines of text. Uh, so we can just make this guy, if you wanted to make him say hello, you can go NPC text. Then you can type add and then, well you can follow the instructions here, but if you want to say hello when you get close, you can go add. And it says enter the line of text. So we can make him say hello when he gets close. And you type NPC text again to edit the, or to exit the text uh. editor. Always remember to exit an editor when you're in, otherwise uh, you're going to start making mistakes and have weird things happen. Uh. So to turn this guy into a guard, we need to make him what's called a sentry. And we do that by going trait sentry. That's actually toggleable, so you can uh, toggle it on or off. So he's now a sentry, uh, but he can't really do much right now because we haven't actually added anything to him. Uh, the one command I want to bring up though is sentry info. And what this does here is this shows you basically all the stats of your sentry, including his hit points, his armor, uh, strength, his attack speed, his engagement range. Uh, sorry, attack frequency. Actually, I actually can't remember what the hell the difference is between those two. Uh, is how far he can see at night, uh, his heal rate, and his warnings. I'm not going to get into all these right now. Uh, the important ones you need to know are, uh, first thing we'll do is we'll go sentry armor. Uh, you can adjust that by going sentry armor and entering a value. Uh, typically, again, see the forum post for what we do typical values. This guy is in iron armor, so I'm going to give him a value of 5, which is pretty decent. So that sets his armor to 5. Uh, we want to change his attack strength because it's by default one. He's got a sword, so we'll give him an attack strength of, say, four. And his range is his engagement range. That can stay at 15. Uh, it's a pretty decent range. It's fairly close. My archers up top in my keep have a range of about 30. Uh, but 15 to 20 is pretty good for guys with swords. And the last thing I'm going to change... Uh, his respawn time, okay, it's already, I changed the default, so it's already at 60 seconds, which is good. Uh, you can make it longer or shorter by going sentry respawn, but uh, 60 seconds is pretty good. So right now, uh, he has the ability to attack stuff, but he actually won't because he has no targets. So we need to add a target to him by going sentry, target, add, entity, monster. So that'll basically now make him attack any kind of hostile mobs, which there aren't any around right now, but we can demonstrate that later. Uh, the next thing you need to do, because right now he'll attack mobs, but he'll just kind of wander around as he sees fit, you need to give him a guard point. And we do that with the waypoint path editor. So you go NPC path to enter the editor, and we left click to add a waypoint or right click to remove it. So, say we want him to guard just outside the door here. 
We can go down here, left click there, and he'll stay there. He'll uh, move away within a range of 15 to attack anything he sees, and uh, when he's done, he'll come back here. Now, if we want to make him patrol, say so we want him to move uh, just across this road between uh, the edge there and the stairs, we can right click to remove that waypoint. Left click there and he'll go there. I gotta avoid that stupid tiger because it'll attack me. Go over here. You still stand there. And add another waypoint there. Oh, that one's too far away. So what happened there is he was so far away from his waypoint, he uh, started to warp between them. So sometimes you gotta make sure they're closer together. So we do that when there's a little closer. There we go. So he'll patrol between those two waypoints. Uh, you can do somewhat complex paths. They don't have to be uh, just straight lines. You can do triangle things. Um, just try and keep them in sort of open ground. The uh, pathfinding logic's pretty good, but it's not perfect. So when you're done editing your paths, you just type NPC path again, and that exits the waypoint editor. So now if you want him to guard you, you can go NPC, guard, and your player name. You have to be standing near your NPC to do that. Whoops, sorry, it's sentry, guard, and your player name. So now he's going to guard me. Uh, and now we can actually see that if I walk over here and punch this tiger. He'll go and attack the tiger. And there you go. And he'll follow you around. Uh, you don't really have to worry about losing him per se, because if you get too far away or if your guard gets too far away, he'll uh, respawn. Or sorry, not respawn, he'll teleport to you. And then when you're done with him, and you don't want him to follow you around anymore, you can go... Just go sentry guard with no name. And he'll go back to his guard post and stay there. So that's the basic 101 on creating a sentry. Uh, see the forum post I wrote? There's a little more information in there. And if you have any questions, let me know.